idea. Number 50. Why are the men at the store? Number 51. What hobby is mentioned? Number 52. What does the woman recommend? Questions 53 through 55 refer to the following conversation. I'm glad our flight took off on schedule. We'll be just in time to get to the employee training session. I agree. I wouldn't want to be late to a training session that we're supposed to lead. Right. Okay. I'll work on the slides for our presentation during the flight then. They're almost ready, but I need to make the changes we discussed yesterday. Great. So when we land, should we head straight to the branch office? Probably. I would have liked to drop my luggage off at the hotel first, but that would take too long. Number 53. Why are the speakers traveling? Number 54. What does the man say he will do during the flight? Number 55. What will the speakers most likely do when they land? Questions 56 through 58 refer to the following conversation with three speakers. Dolores from Maintenance is here fixing the lights in the waiting area. Great. The patients need to be able to see when they fill out their medical forms. Oh, she's coming over. Maybe we should ask her to look at the sink in examination room one. Good idea. Hi there. The lights are working now. Let me know if they go off again. Thanks. Could you also look at the sink in examination room one? It leaks every time the doctors wash their hands. I only handle electrical issues. You'll have to fill out another maintenance request form, but a plumber can probably come later today. Number 56. Where most likely are the speakers? Number 57. What are the speakers mainly discussing? Number 58. What does the woman say the men should do? Questions 59 through 61 refer to the following conversation. Akira, have you seen the recent increases in shipping expenses? Yeah, baking ingredients are becoming expensive to import but our pastries are made with imported specialty flour and butter, and customers love them. I know, but I'd rather reduce our expenses than increase our prices. I think we should look for domestic suppliers that offer similar ingredients for less. It's an option, but we'll have to test all of the recipes. I'm worried that using different ingredients will change the taste. We need to make sure we're still producing the quality baked goods that our customers expect. Number 59. What type of business do the speakers most likely operate? Number 60. How does the woman want to reduce expenses? Number 61. What is the man concerned about? Questions 62 through 64 refer to the following conversation and diagram. Hi, Elise. Good news. The last of the parts for the wind turbine have arrived. Great. Now we can start transporting them to the designated site in Bloomington on Tuesday. Well, I'm meeting tomorrow with local officials to discuss temporarily closing down part of the road while we transport everything. Okay. 
The foundation is already installed at the site, right? So let's send the longest part next. Exactly. That way we'll only need the road closed for a day. I'll let you know when we get approval so you can schedule the drivers. Number 62. What are the speakers mainly discussing? Number 63. What does the man say he will do tomorrow? Number 64. Look at the graphic. According to the speakers, what will be shipped next? Questions 65 through 67 refer to the following conversation and floor plan. Hey, Jerome. We're hosting the engineering conference this weekend. You're in charge of filming the presentations in the auditorium, right? Yes, and the conference organizers asked me to set up some additional cameras. Here's the new layout. Do you have enough people to handle that? All set. I have people for the positions at the sides of the auditorium and the one near the stage. I want to run the camera at the back of the auditorium myself. Number 65. What event are the speakers preparing for? Number 66. What was the man asked to do? Number 67. Look at the graphic. Where will the man most likely be working during the event? Questions 68 through 70 refer to the following conversation and list. Since our meetings with the clients don't start until tomorrow, where should we take them this afternoon? They said they're interested in visiting some art museums. But it's Monday. The museums are all closed today. I still have some bus passes for a tour of the city. How about that? Actually, the weather's nice. Maybe we could rent bikes. Here, look at this mobile phone application. It has a list of the closest locations of the rental stations and how many bicycles are available. Oh, great. Let's see. We'll need four bikes. Based on the app, it seems only one station near here has enough available bikes. Number 68. What does the woman say about the clients? Number 69. What does the man suggest doing? Number 70. Look at the graphic. Which location will the speakers go to? Part 4. Directions. You will hear some talks given by a single speaker. You will be asked to answer three questions about what the speaker says in each talk. Select the best response to each question and mark the letter A, B, C, or D on your answer sheet. The talks will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Questions 71 through 73 refer to the following announcement. Welcome to the Three Pines Mall. Thank you for shopping with us. While you're here today, be sure to stroll through the central atrium where local food vendors are offering delectable free samples of new menu items. Supplies are limited. Also, please be aware that Cedar Avenue is being repaved next week and will be closed to traffic. You will still be able to access the mall via Highway 15 as usual. Number 71. Where is the announcement being made?
Number 72. What is being offered for free? Number 73. According to the speaker, what will happen next week? Questions 74 through 76 refer to the following introduction. A big welcome to Rita Perez, Western Bookstore's featured guest of the summer. Ms. Perez has graciously agreed to give a reading and to participate in a book signing. Her recently published novel, Springtime Smiles, has become an instant bestseller, receiving praise from critics both here and abroad. Having been her friend for seven years, I'm very happy to see her career flourish. One last note before we begin. Please make sure the sound on your mobile phone is turned off. And now, let's welcome Ms. Perez to the front. Number 74. Who most likely is Rita Perez? Number 75. Why is the speaker happy for Rita Perez? Number 76. What does the speaker request that the listeners do? Questions 77 through 79 refer to the following excerpt from a meeting. Good morning, everyone. I want to start this meeting by discussing the results of some recent product testing. We were asked to design a software program for healthcare professionals that would make medical record keeping more efficient. Nurses said they wanted a faster tool for recording data so they could spend more time with patients. Well, the nurses at Cranberg Hospital used our software for two weeks, and during that time, they spent 15 minutes less than usual completing reports each shift. So that's good news. I've summarized the results of our testing in a few handy charts. Let's take a look at them now. Number 77. Who most likely are the listeners? Number 78. What does the speaker imply when she says, They spent 15 minutes less than usual completing reports each shift. Number 79. What will the listeners do next? Questions 80 through 82 refer to the following telephone message. Good morning, Ms. Zhao. This is Mustafa from Healthful Pharmacy. I'm calling to let you know that your prescription is ready and can be picked up today. One thing to be aware of, though, we will be short-staffed from 4 to 5 due to employee training. Unfortunately, we aren't able to hold this training any other time. Anyway, when you do come in, please remember to bring some kind of photo identification. We require that of all our customers. Thanks. Number 80. Where does the speaker work? Number 81. Why does the speaker say, We will be short-staffed from 4 to 5 due to employee training. Number 82. What does the speaker remind the listener to do? Questions 83 through 85 refer to the following introduction. Thank you for attending today's seminar. Our guest speaker today is Mina Choi. Mina is the company president of Choi Incorporated. Her company specializes in financial planning. It offers a wide range of financial services to both small businesses and individuals. So 
This is a great opportunity to learn from a leader in the industry. We'll be getting started in just a few minutes. As you get settled into your seats, please make sure you've signed in for the session. To do so, you'll need to find your email confirmation on your mobile phone or laptop and click the sign in button there. That way you'll all get credit for attending this seminar. Number 83. According to the speaker, who is Min Ah Choi? Number 84. What is the focus of the seminar? Number 85. What does the speaker ask the listeners to do? Questions 86 through 88 refer to the following announcement. Before we end the staff meeting, remember that our branch office on Carson Avenue will be closed for renovations starting Monday. That branch's accounting team will temporarily move to our building until their office renovations are complete. The employees will be working in conference room B. We'll be moving some desks in there for the next few weeks. We've arranged to host a catered lunch for them on Monday. All staff are welcome and encouraged to attend. Number 86. Why will a branch office be closed? Number 87. What does the speaker say about conference room B? Number 88. What will take place on Monday? Questions 89 through 91 refer to the following broadcast. For all of you tuning into our radio station today, the annual Springfield Music Festival is just around the corner. From June 12th to 14th, the Springfield Park will host a variety of live performances from drumming circles to alternative rock bands, all free and open to the public. And don't forget about WKBC's annual raffle. This year, you can enter to win a brand new, one-of-a-kind electric guitar. Raffle tickets are only available at our ticket booth. And last year, all the tickets were gone in an hour. Look for us by the water fountain on June 12th. Hope to see you there. Number 89. What event is happening in June? Number 90. What kind of prize can the listeners win? Number 91. What does the speaker mean when he says, All the tickets were gone in an hour? Questions 92 through 94 refer to the following talk. Welcome, everyone. We're so glad you're joining our team. With the recent expansion to this building, we now have five additional theaters and can show more movies than ever. And that's, of course, why we've hired more staff. Well, today I'll show you the ticket booth and how to use the ticket machines. After that, we'll go over some other duties you'll be expected to cover, like working at the snack bar. Now your uniforms haven't arrived yet, so tomorrow, please wear a red shirt to match our logo. Number 92. Where most likely are the listeners? Number 93. What will the speaker mainly talk about today? Number 94. What does the speaker ask the listeners to do tomorrow? Questions 95 through 97 refer to the following telephone message and invoice. 
Hello, Ms. Rodriguez. It's Harrison from Harrison's Home Remodeling. I'm calling because the original invoice I sent you yesterday for your kitchen remodel is incorrect. This is good news for you, though, because I forgot that the tiles you selected for your kitchen flooring are discounted this month. So later today, I'll send you a new invoice, which will include the discount on the tiles. Oh, and my crew and I will be at your house tomorrow morning to install the countertops, then we'll be all done. Call me back if you have any questions. Number 95. What has the speaker's company been working on? Number 96. Look at the graphic. Which amount does the speaker say is incorrect? Number 97. What does the speaker say he will do tomorrow? Questions 98 through 100 refer to the following advertisement and price list. Would you like to add something special to your company's celebration or business function? Then Eco Events may be just right for you. We offer a large variety of environmentally friendly rental products for any occasion. Our most popular rentals are our tables and chairs, all made from sustainable materials. They're beautiful and functional. Our tables come in four sizes, allowing you to arrange a gathering any way you'd like. And for a limited time, our most popular table, which seats 8 to 12 people, can be rented for just $10 per day. To take advantage of this limited offer, just enter the promotional code 10 discount when you go to our website. Number 98. What kind of business is being advertised? Number 99. Look at the graphic. Which table package is available at a discounted price? Number 100. How can the listeners obtain a discount? This is the end of the listening test. Okay, now uh, some rap. Listening. เดี๋ยวนะอ่ะดูเฉลยดีกว่าอ่ะให้เราแคปหน้านี้ไปนะครับแล้วก็ลองไปตรวจเฉลยดูสรุปใครที่ทําข้อสอบนะครับ Okay. Ah, if you can do a break, you can do a break. Okay, okay. 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 Ok